Hi y'all, this is Mrs. D and I'm here today with a video going over rational numbers. So we're going to talk about what a rational number is and how to put them into categories. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to classify these rational numbers and the first thing we need to do is use a Venn diagram to show the relationship of whole numbers, integers, and rational numbers. So let's kind of recap a little bit here. When we have a Venn diagram, that means that we have three circles inside of each other. So when we go over these definitions, it's going to help us make sure we have those categorized better. So what does each of these definitions or words mean? So we have whole numbers, which is a number greater than zero. We have integers, which are whole numbers and their opposites. And we have rational numbers, which are numbers that can be written as a over b, which is a fraction, where a and b are integers and b cannot equal zero. So the denominator can't be zero. Now, whole numbers means you have one, two, three, four, and so on, all the way to infinity. An integer would be those whole numbers, one, two, three, four, and their opposites, which is negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, and so on. A rational number is a number that is either a fraction or that fraction can be written in a different form, which would be typically a decimal. So those would be the rational numbers as far as the outer ring. Now, rational numbers can also be negative, um, but if they're a rational negative number, they still only go into the rational number category. So for our third step here, all whole numbers are integers and rational numbers. So all numbers that belong in this center circle, the whole number circle, are also going to be categorized as integers and rational numbers. So a number can be in all three categories, or it could be in just two, or sometimes just one. Not all integers are whole numbers, so four is a whole number and it's an integer. Negative four is an integer, but not a whole number because whole numbers are not represented by negatives. Not all rational numbers are integers or whole numbers. So if I have the rational number 3.4 or three and four tenths, that would be written either as a fraction or a decimal. Either way, that's a rational number, but it is not an integer and it's not a whole number. So what does this mean? Well, what this means is that we can go ahead and use this information to classify some numbers. So I have a list of numbers here. So let's go ahead and put them into their categories. So the number four is a whole number. So we're gonna put that number here in the whole number category. The number negative 11 is an integer, so I'm going to put it here in the integer category. The number 2 thirds is a fraction, so it's going to go into the rational number category. And then the negative 6 and a half or 6 and 5 tenths is going to go also in the rational category. Now, negative 11 is an integer, it's also a rational number. 2 thirds is a rational number, but it is not an integer or a whole number. However, this 4 that's a whole number actually is all three of these when it comes to representing numbers. All right, so let's go ahead and practice and put some of these numbers into categories. So down at the bottom, I have a list of numbers. And then to the left side, we have each of our categories listed. So we're just going to list them out into each category that they belong to. So the first one we're gonna start out with is 14. And 14 is a whole number. It's also an integer. And it's a rational number. So I'm gonna mark that one out. Now we have negative 5.2 or negative 5 and 2 tenths. Well, it's negative, so it could be an integer, but it's not a whole number. So it's just gonna fit into the rational number category. The third one we have here is negative 18. 18 is a whole number, but negative 18 is not. So it's just gonna fit into the integer category and the rational number category. Next we have three and three tenths. 
Well, three and three tenths is a decimal or it fits in that A over B form. So it's just going to be a rational number. Next we have 24 over six or 24 sixths. Well, if we were to divide 24 by six, we get four. So this actually reduces to the answer four. Four is a whole number. Four is also an integer. And four is a rational number. So ones like that look tricky because it does look like just a fraction, but if you actually reduce it or simplify it, you end up with a, all three categories. Negative 30 over three. This is another one I can go ahead and reduce or divide it. So negative 30 divided by three is a negative 10. So this is gonna go into the integer category and the rational number category. And we haven't learned how to divide by negatives yet, but we're still gonna use it as an example. Negative 30 divided by four, this one does not go in evenly. Four goes into 30 seven times. And then I have two fourths or one half left over. So this one is a negative seven and a half. So that one just fits into this rational number category. And last we have 10 divided by three, which goes in three and one third. So this is also just whoops, going to be a rational number. So we can take each of these numbers and we can put them into all the categories that they belong to. And if you notice, there's more rational numbers than integers and whole numbers. And that's because all whole numbers are integers and rational numbers, but not all rational numbers are also whole numbers. So you're gonna end up with less numbers that fit the whole number category. Rational numbers is going to actually cover most of the numbers that you've learned up to this point. So let's go ahead and recap. We have these steps here. First, we're gonna use a Venn diagram to show the relationship of whole numbers, integers, and rational numbers. Second, we go through the actual definitions of each one. So a whole number is a number greater than zero. An integer is a whole number and their opposite. Rational numbers are fractions or decimals typically. Third, all whole numbers are integers and rational numbers. And fourth, not all rational numbers are integers or whole numbers. So I hope this video helped you out to understanding how to classify rational numbers. And I hope you understand the relationship between whole numbers, integers, and rational numbers. If you need more help, you can watch this video a couple of times, but if you still have questions, be ready to ask me something specific. This is Mrs. D signing off with rational numbers. Have a great day, bye.